this is the first video I've kind of done where I'm actually doing something to the car, to the um, actual. So this is my SCX24 and it has gone through many different mods and changes over time. Um, I've only had it for just over a year now, but it, um, yeah, I've had different bodies, different shocks, different wheels, different tyres, bumpers, you name it. I've kind of done it, I think. Um, I haven't dived sort of into axles and things like that as such um but uh but it really works well at the moment so today i've i've made this little sort of out of the old chassis i've got some metal chassis pieces joined them to my old jeep cut body and i put a bumper on the back there and so now it pivots up which is quite good um i'm not sure if you can see all of that but can i see that it does that but the video that i was going to do was um taken these mud slingers and a set of nail clippers and I'm going to trim out every other tread to give it a really open pattern so that I get some really good uh, bite over some other stuff on my course so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the result so I don't know if you can see these but there's a few little bits off there first of all and it's definitely the best way to just to get your nail clipper and go in between the treads if you can see that and it stops you cutting the actual tire and losing you know air or um, exposing the foam so you can just keep it tight to the actual tire itself and just nip it off and that's that's kind of it so uh, lots to do but um once they're done it should work really well okay so one tire down so this is the untrimmed tire with all the treads in place. And this is the tire with them trimmed. So I don't know if you can get an idea of the difference, but hopefully it's pretty clear on the camera. So you get a much more aggressive open tread style tire, which I'm hoping is gonna hook um, and get over obstacles really well. So that's the plan. One tire done three to go so just a quick tip if um you're doing this like me and you've not done it many times before there's a really good idea to don't go in with the clippers to try and nip it off you just want to slide it in from the side so by sliding it in that way you can go straight to the next one and it just pushes the little piece of rubber out rather than you having to tap it out every time. So slide them in from the side on the tread while they're open and then just snip and then go straight for the next one and it, it definitely speeds it up. So that's all me done. It's taken probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes and all the tires now look like that. I have squeezed a bit of air out of this one so I'm gonna have to open up the rim and let the air back in but um, the tires now look really super, super chunky and Hopefully won't get clogged up with mud and uh, perform a lot better. There you go. So that's my first little video with some chat. Um, comment, subscribe and all those business things if you want to. And if you don't, just hope you enjoyed the video. Great stuff. Bye.